All right, first off, um, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, I'm about to make four weeks with my channel, which is just good. But it also isn't good because I've been very incons inconsistent the last like two weeks or for most of the time maybe. Um, so this video is probably gonna be the most serious video I've ever made in this channel um, because what I'm about to talk about is I don't know, pretty serious for me at least. Um, first off, I wanna apologize for not posting enough and like, yeah, basically that because I said I would, but I just didn't keep my promise, and uh, I always try to keep my promises. Um, in this video, I'm going to be explaining the reasons why um, I actually haven't been posting a lot. And the main reason is because uh, I just believe that I have too much in my plate, and my mental health wasn't where it needed to be. So I took a little break, like off YouTube, just to like get something off my back. Um, but at the time it didn't feel like it was enough. I still felt like I had a lot on my plate. I still felt like I wasn't getting enough sleep. I wasn't eating enough. Um, it was to the point where I woke up every morning to go to work and I didn't feel comfortable anymore. Um, and basically my mental health isn't where it needs to be. And it's been like that for the past five to six years. And I know for most of you that know me, uh, wouldn't believe that I have mental health issues um, or stuff like that, anything like that. Um, I honestly don't know if I have depression. Like I said, I will have to go to a doctor to see if, um, if I'm diagnosed with depression. But I definitely do get sad more often than, than anything. I'm probably sad on average like five days a week. And that's just like on a good week. Um, but you wouldn't be able to tell. I always try to be optimistic. I always try to like cheer, cheer others on even when I'm not at the level I should be. Because I always care about people more than I care about myself. And I think that's what's bring me, bringing me down a lot. And I haven't cared about myself as much as I care about other people. Um, with that said, um, I don't know how much uh, I will actually tell you guys in this video because um, for the first time um, in the last five to six years, I, I will try to get like professional help and go with a therapist or something. And I'm looking towards that right now. But, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. Uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I just wanted to get some stuff off my chest, like what I think I should share with everybody. Um, I'm usually a person that doesn't like speaking about their own personal problems. I always keep them to myself, and I feel like that carries me down a lot. And I feel like a lot of people can relate. Um, not everybody likes sharing their problems because they feel like they're, they're annoying other people or something, and I always feel like that. Um, I always feel alone, even though I know I'm not. I have a bunch of friends, I have family that love me, uh, but I don't know, I just can't help it. It's just uh, the way the cookie crumbles at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, that's for the most important parts at least. Um, now the good news is that um, I think now I actually quit my job a couple of days ago, maybe four or five days now, um, because I just there was a month left, but I felt like I couldn't do it, and it was bringing me down even more, um, and it was something that I just felt like I needed to do. Um, apart for <laughs> apart from that, um, I think I'm doing a little bit better now than I was doing the last couple of weeks. Um, I haven't had as many bad thoughts as I usually do. Um, I've been sleeping better. Instead of four, three, five hours, I've actually gotten eight hours of sleep for the first time in a long time. And um, I think that's 
that's that's improvement and i know slowly i i'll get where i have to be i know it's all a mental thing and i've been doing this battle by myself for the last like five to six years like i said i haven't told anyone ever the first one to ever find out and help me out was uh, actually my current girlfriend natalie so and i thank her very like a lot like she's helped me through so much um and I, I recently told my friends as well, some of them, but I never told anyone else before that. It was always just me. Uh, I told my mom for the first time as well, the day I quit. Um, and it, it did feel like I got something off my shoulders. It, it did feel a little bit better. But uh, I know there's a lot of progress to be made, but if I dealt with it by myself for the last five to six years with some help, this year, I believe I can get over it. Um, now the good news is that I think I'm a good, uh, uh, I'm at a good spot now where um, I can start like making videos again because I do enjoy making videos. It's fun. Um, I played some Xbox last night um, and it was fun. I didn't record anything. I just wanted to play. I didn't think I should record yet. Um, I do have a, a bunch of videos saved up. I just need to edit them. But like I said. Uh, I didn't think I was at that part like I, w I wasn't there yet so I'll start editing them when I can I know my vlogs went to shit pr pretty much because I only posted two even though I said I was gonna post one every Saturday but I just stopped going out and uh, I don't know but right now I'm working on bettering myself I started going to the gym again I started trying to eat three meals a day instead of two sometimes one um, getting better sleep and uh, it's all working out pretty much for, for now and um, I think that's good um, uh, the reason I'm making this video is not specifically for you guys even though I, I did I do want people to understand because I do want to be committed to this YouTube thing even though it's just a hobby right now if it turns out to be anything bigger that would be amazing if not um, I'll just follow a different path, to be honest. Um, but um, I'm doing it mostly for me, because I'm usually always uh, I'm usually always hard to get to, because I I don't really tell stuff to anyone. I rather deal with it with myself. I don't want to bother anyone else with my problems or anything like that. And if I do tell someone any of my problems, I feel stupid right after because I don't want anyone to be thinking about what I said because it might just be in the moment and then I, I might be fine later on, but then it comes back and it's just a back and forth thing all the time. But, um, I don't know. I, I feel like speaking to people about it will help me a lot more. Um, and yeah, but those are the good and bad news. That's what's been going on with me lately. I just wanted to let you guys know. I hope everybody that's watching this, that ever watches this, um, is doing well, is doing good as well. And um, if you have any problems the same way I do, always reach out to someone. Um, I know it can be hard. I know you can feel lonely, depressed, a bunch of feelings. It's uh, a whole roller coaster thing. But um, yeah, you definitely have someone that loves you, so always reach out to them. Sometimes you might not know it, sometimes there might be too, too many problems in your household, not too many friends, whatever it is. There's always someone that will care. So whether you can reach us, reach out for someone at school, like a counselor or something, someone. There, there, there's always someone. Don't ever think that you're alone because you're not, even when it feels like it. But yeah, that's the main point for this. Uh, this is just a straight out video. I'm not gonna make any edits uh, apart from maybe the beginning, just so it starts when I started talking. Um, other than that, um, I think that's all I have to say for now, at least. Um, and I hope the next video you guys see is actually um, one of the videos I've made. Um, I'm going to be playing a lot more games. I think I want to go out more because I feel like staying in my room for too long. I get too many anxiety attacks, like mini anxiety attacks. I feel trapped. I feel suffocated. So, yeah, I feel like a lot of good things are to come. Um... I have surgery next month as well for my nose so I can breathe better. I mean, I got used to like breathing through my mouth pretty much, but my nose is 
kind of fucked up, so gotta get that fixed so it doesn't mess up my my lifespan. Um, but yeah, that's basically all. Uh, I just wanted to catch you guys up with what's going on. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Have a great weekend. If you guys see this, I'm gonna try to post it today, the same day. But my internet's a little shitty sometimes, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, hope you guys have a good day. That's all that's going on with me. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.